We're here on Glader at Travel. We're just jumping from person to person, and we've got Chris just walking off as well. But we've got the one and only Nick, the Greek, Char Olympus. How's it going? Good, how are you? Very good. You know, I have to say, you're looking like you're in shape. I have to say, you could show off your stomach if you want to, and you don't have to. Uh, that's for your uh, partner to do all that buzz. Um, <laughs> how is training leading up to this? Nah, training's been really good. The best camp I've had, the fittest I've been. Fucking positive, feel positive. Mentally positive, physically yeah, positive. Just ready to fucking let loose. Yeah. You know, it's not often that we see this, but when you're in fight mode, you can actually just see the seriousness on, of your face. Like, especially when you're going in for that face off. Oh, yeah, yeah, I felt it. Like, I was. You just get this thing over you. Just hard to explain, but fuck, I felt. Yeah, just ready. Yeah, ready, ready. Yeah. So, this is one of those fights that. This could mainly vent its own card. But of course we're going on Duco, which is also just as big. Um, do you feel any pressure coming into this? Because this is a massive fight for New Zealand. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Like it's a make or break fight for me too. You know, me, um, it's a fight I know I can win and a fight I know I should win. And I think if I lose this fight, it'll be a big backward step. You know? It's going to be one of those fights that you have to see because I think someone's going to get knocked out in this fight within the first couple of rounds. Uh, oh, well, I'm not getting knocked out. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's coming for you. Um, so you have, uh, you got all your injuries all um, sorted out, all your surgeries. How many surgeries have you had recently? Like, oh, so I just had my elbow surgery last year. So, and then that's, yeah, I feel good. My knees have come right. Like, I feel like I'm coming into my own, my body's coming right, getting mature, so more disciplined with eating. Yeah. I know that after this fight, uh, you've had said in the past, but you're focusing on going, maybe going down to light heavyweight in the future. Is that what's going to happen after this fight? Yeah, so I'm planning to go down to light heavyweight. So for this fight, I didn't have to cut any weight. I was on weight already. So it'd be nice to go down to light heavyweight, but I'm not going to say 100% I'm going to do it because you never know. But if I want to take my career seriously, I do need to drop down to 79. In the future, you might be facing this man over here, uh, Jesse Mayo, or maybe uh, even a Jerome pa uh, Pamplo in the future, possibly for a New Zealand title. Yeah, well, I've been doing a bit of sparring with Jerome lately. Fuck, he's so good. Like, I'm becoming a fan of his, you know? Like. Yeah. I couldn't see myself fighting him, I just know I'd have a headache in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck for um, tomorrow night, we're certainly looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to it, it's like one of the cards, of the card, the undercard fight of the whole night, in my opinion, so good luck for tonight. Cool, thank you very much. Hey Greg, how's it going? <laughs>